Yo, what is going on guys? We should now be live on the channel. We're going to be doing some more of the Gallon Arena today. Just getting milestones all over. I haven't really done much arena since the last stream. Um, because I was really busy yesterday. We had a surprise party for my dad. And he was surprised, so it went well. Uh, but I didn't really do any arena yesterday. I think I ran like my rank 4 towards the end of the night, but that was literally like it. Shido Brown, what's up, bro? Cool pool. First and second ones here. What's up, guys? Dalton. Zuzu. Make it savory. What's up, man? Gibson the God. Red Russian. What's up? What's up? Ninja Gerald. Good to see you again, man. Chuck. Your pal. Polarity Rickard. What's up, guys? Good to see you all. Ouch. Corvus, that hurt. go stream time yeah man time to get some units some battle chips good stuff gold i need all that man I need all that stuff bad you're turning into bg is that a bad thing i think that's a good thing i'm mid arena grind too nice man did you go milestones or are you actually going for champ What's up, legs? About to be a proud owner of an awakened rank 4 scorpion tomorrow morning. Can't wait. Nice, Travis. Literally, or Loki chat right now, like the last 40 messages, I literally just caught up on reading them. They're all talking about scorpion. <laughs> so, yeah, like that's. Scorpion's pretty sick, man. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Definitely want to pull him from this featured. I'm going to be doing a crystal opening on Tuesday. Um. Hope to get if we got him in Rintra, bro. It'd be money. I'd and I'd start I'd be done with that pool. Start saving. How many are you trying to get for quick silver? So to be honest, like I really like having a fat stack of units. Like I like always having at least well, at least like 5k units like on command at any time, you know. And I but I I like to be above like 10k. So like, I don't want to spend all my units trying for Quicksilver. I'll start with like 10 calves, 3k units. If we don't get him or gallon, I'll probably go for another 10. And then I'll probably stop myself after that. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't want to, I want to save some units. But then I guess that just means the more I, the units I spend on Quicksilver, the more I'll have to grind back in Arena. So, yeah. Yo, what's up, Nick? 136. What's going on, my dude? One Scorpion with my featured have sucked. Yeah, there's been a lot of misses. Like, this Crystal Pool is really good, but there's a lot of big misses, and I feel like people have really been hitting the misses. Let's run the rank fours again. What's up, small units? What's up, Bobby? Want to save units as well? Yeah, I'm trying to save like I want to. I want to get like more than a million. I think a, min a million is like the minimum of my goal. Like by Cyber Weekend, and honestly, just like as many bouncers as I can for Cyber Weekend. I want to. Nah, it'd be sick to save like five million battleships or something stupid. Or maybe I should save for gifting. Maybe that's what I should do, man. Just start saving. Get like five mil battle chips for gifting and then just go nuts. That dude, that sounds like fun. I don't know. I'm so bad at like hoard well, I used to be. I used to be really bad at hoarding like crystals, um battle chips, anything, you name it. But th but late now that I'm older, more mature, I, I I know the virtue of patience now. So I find it a lot easier to save. Like I've been hoarding crystals for big openings. A lot lately and I've had no problems so I feel like I could I feel like I could save up the battle chips now but I don't know it's still so tempting to just pop them open you know or if I run out of gold when is the Quicksilver gameplay gonna come out legs um I think that should also be coming out early next week
I actually... I gotta start working on that video. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. I, uh... Yeah, I guess the embargo's coming up soon. I, don't, I haven't... I've, like... I really, like, I've messed around with the six-star Quicksilver, and I really liked him, but then I'm like, okay, well, I can't even make content, so then I just went to the... played with the three-star that they gave us, like, on my main account. But I need to, definitely need to get more gameplay with the six-star. He parried me, that's cute. What up, legs? Testing for my purple belt in Taekwondo uh, next month. Been hitting the dojo hard since I retired from MCOC. Hashtag black belt goals. Dude, nice, man. I used to be in Taekwondo. I was a... Uh, I think I was a red belt. Yeah. When I was when I was a kid, dude. Taekwondo was great. I used to be able to count to like 10 in Korean. And then I just got Kitty, my third rank five. Nice, bro. That's sick. The legs, I had my competition. I won one match with a choke and lost three, but I did pretty well. Nice, man. You know, honestly, just getting uh, all that experience is great, dude. Take all that experience and bring it to your next competition. Hey, legs, I'm free to play, and I'm wondering who my first rank 5 5 star uh, Venom, the Duck, Spider Ham, or Daredevil Hell's Kitchen. I'd go Spider Ham for sure, dude. He's really good. Playing Fortnite today, legs. I love playing Fortnite. This game is fun again. Nice, dude. Yeah. Fortnite is fun. Do you think we're going to see rank 5 materials in the gifting event? Renato, that's an excellent question. I think there's really only two routes Kabam can go. Um, and the first route is rank 5 materials. Because, like, with gifting, that's, I feel like that's where Kabam makes their most money every year. And I feel like they want that trend to continue. So in order for that to happen, they need to make the gifting events extremely enticing for people to be spending tens of thousands of dollars, right? So, I really only see two outcomes. Either, like you said, rank 5 materials. Probably not a lot, but actually, I don't know. See, rank five materials is interesting. It's only, I think it's only tier six class catalysts is the, the new resource. Everything else we'll already have. So maybe they'll have tier six class catalyst crystals or something. I don't know. So we could see that. The alternative though, I think we could see is depending on the status of Battlegrounds by Christmas and everything, we could see Relics be the new thing and that could be in the Gifting Rewards. Those are really the only two outcomes that I foresee at this point in time, either Rank 5 mats or Relics rivaling that power level, which, and I hope it's Relics, I think. I think it's... If, if we do start to see rank 5 material, I don't know. I hope it's not a lot right away, you know? I don't know. Because I feel like I don't want the game to advance that fast. Then I feel like 7 stars will be on the horizon, and I really don't want that. Legs about to go Taekwondo all up in NYCC. <laughs> nah, dude, it's been like, a very long time. Like, over 10 years ago, I was in Taekwondo. <laughs> like, it's been a long time. And I'm only 22, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a very long time ago for me. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Legs the Mythic? What's up, bro? We're gonna do an 18k Cavalier Quicksilver opening. Wish you the best in your opening, bro. I hope to match you in BG soon. All right, man. Good luck. And yeah, look forward to matching everyone in Battlegrounds. Oh my god, dude. CGR. It's going big brain. Okay. Dude, my my fear though, my one of my big fears of going for Quicksilver calves is literally. 
Honestly, man, I feel like if I do, like right now, I have like almost 12k units. So that's 40 calves. Let's say I spend all my units, I get 40 calves, I go hard. Let's say I don't get them, let's say I buy two more Odins, get them, maybe I get Quicksilver, maybe I get Gallon. But then I decide, okay, that's enough, I'm done. Right? I just, let's say I just spent like 18k units trying to get this character, right? Then you know what would happen? The next, the very next month, the next character they release, I feel like what's going to happen? Boom, Throne Breaker featured crystals. Or Cavalier featured Nexus crystals for new champions. I feel like, I feel like a change is coming soon. So like, I don't want to go too hard on these regular calves right before a big change like that happens, you know? I was thinking maybe they were going to do the change for these champs, but that wouldn't make sense because these champs are already so hype. They could probably milk out a lot of money, even with the old calf system first, and then switch them. I don't know. I feel like a change is on the way, man. It's been a very long time. We've been with calf crystals for, I'm pretty sure. Was it Human Torch? I think it was either Human Torch or Captain Marvel and Nick Fury, where Cav, like when those champions came out, that's when like Cav featured Cav crystals like started. It's so long ago, we're way past Cavalier at this point, man. So I feel like an update is bound to happen soon, sooner rather than later. Tic Tac Window for five years as a kid, really fun. Have you seen Best of the Best movie? Watch that on repeat back then. No, I haven't, man. I don't think so. It's not ringing a bell. Yeah, Taekwondo back in the day, man. It was really fun. Have a But, like, the, the first time I ever went to a, um, like a fighting competition, man, I had, I was, like, I don't know, maybe grade 4, 5, 6, somewhere in there. And I was fighting this guy that was in, like, grade 8. And he was huge, man. It was... <laughs> It was a mismatch. He kicked me so hard in the stomach that I got winded. Sucked. And then I don't think I ever went to like another one after that, but I wanted to. I don't think I like, continued Taekwondo too much after that. I did win a couple trophies though, at that event. And a couple medals. Legs, what's your second YouTube channel? You stream Fortnite there, right? Um, not really, man. I don't really have time for the second channel. It's hard enough keeping up with the main channel and everything. Right now, at least. Summer is just a busy time. What's up, Jason? Uh, what's up, Lags, bro? I need gold as well. Your boy straight, uh, broke, broke. Can I get a loan? Nah, man, I'm broke too. I, I have 8.7 million, but, like, I'm planning to do, you know, two rank fours relatively soon. That's all the gold right there. <laughs> um, yeah. I have no gold to loan out, man. Get your butt in the arena. That's what I'm doing. What's up, Zane? Going good, man. The Lake Rank 5 mats is too early. Man, I wish it could be 22 again. Time flies. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely trying to enjoy my youth, but at the same time, and like I'm thankful for my age and everything, but at the same time, honestly, man, I can't wait till I'm like 50, 60 years old, man. Like I'm gonna be so damn wise. Like I'm gonna have I'm gonna have amassed so much not like it's really cool. Like within like the last couple years, I've seen like myself like grow a lot like mentally, and it's just like like imagine 10, 20 years. Like I'm gonna get so much smarter, so much more. I'm gonna know so much more stuff. Like I don't know. I'm looking forward to that. Being a wise old man, Mr. Miyagi. Sounds awesome. And also, like, I'll, like, dude, like, I've, I'm pretty good at pool right now. Like, I, I play a lot, I practice a lot with my friends, and I've just been getting, like, a better and better and better. 
Honestly, especially over like the last two years, I'm getting a lot better. Like in 20 years, man, if I keep keep playing pool like I am, I don't know. It'd be sick to be a pro one day. <laughs> Trophy reveal video? I don't know where I have all my old trophies and stuff. One sec, let me shut my door. He's barking. What's up, Vivian? Grinding's the toughest part in this game? Yeah. What's up, Leafy? Mary Force do you have right now? Um I think six. Let's see, rank four, six stars. Oh, I got seven. Nice. Yeah, I'm so excited to get more, man. Let's turn you to pain rewards. Oh, baby. Mm. It definitely was in the area legs. So all I can say is blame Fintech. You'll see what I mean. Uh, you looking forward to She-Hulk? Yes. Not for She-Hulk. But for all the other aspects, <laughs> I'm being honest with you. What would you do if you got spot 101? Well, I'm not going for any champ, so I don't have to worry about that. Get old, drink some bourbon, and smoke cigars in front of a huge fireplace. That sounds pretty great. One sec, one sec. He's a little guard dog, man. So funny. Okay, nice. Two neuros. Oh, this pig is gonna melt. That was... Dude, that was a seven... Six second fight. Seven hits done, six second fight. Jeez. I love me and my archangel. Yo, Lenny! It's in a row of five bucks, dude. Uh, in 50 years, you will have ten seven-star champions. Dude, in 50 years, I better have, like, 69-star champions. Dude, thank you so much for the five, though. Get you up there, Tony. I like the name Lenny. I don't think I've ever mm, met anyone my own age that named it, like, when I was in school. It's a good name, though. Lenny. That's... Butcher's brother's name in the boys. <laughs> well, I just turned 50 and all I can say is uh, keep up your workouts. It's a lot harder to stay in shape when you get older if you don't keep at it. Oh yeah, I bet. Uh, Alright, let's go for... Let's go for an all-female squad. Domino, such a witch, black cat, three bad ladies. What's up, legs? First rank three options are CGR, Venom Pool, or Omega Red. I'm thinking CGR, but wanted to hear your thoughts. 100% CGR, man. Yep. I'm not sure how many six stars I have, though. I have a lot. It's more so how many do I not have at this point. I think the EOP reward should increase for Thronebreaker. Well, they already did, bro. They increased for everyone. Man, buffed them pretty hard. And they should help you get the uh, Paragon. Are you friends with Seton? Yeah. Where's the Sambuca shots legs? This is not a drinking stream, man. I was drinking a lot yesterday. Uh, I'm good. I had like... I don't even know, man. Anywhere from five to eight jello shots. I lost count. But they were, they were really good. My cousin made them. God, they taste so yummy, dude. I can just keep chugging them. What's 
up, Bully Laguire? <laughs> What's up, DTM and Haj? How's the new AA treating you? So good, dude. We should have fight with him in arena. Took six seconds. Like <laughs> three bad ladies. Yeah, I was gonna say the B word, but you know, shouldn't say that on stream. All right, let's go for some unduped legends. Yo. Burn. Burn Lothan? Am I saying that right? Number five. Herc and Nimrod are my two rank fours. Uh, that's two very good rank fours. Okay. I like the way this is starting. Uh, who would you recommend or benefit most from being my next rank four? Uh, Hulkling, Galen, Scorpion, Kingpin, Fury, or Diablo? Oh. I really like this question. Dude, you got a nice account, first of all. Let me just compliment you. Um, so with Herc and Nimrod, you already have a lot of ground covered. Nimrod's going to cover all of the annoying mutants. And you don't really have another tech rank up option anyways. Okay. And then Herc. I mean, you already got a rank 4 Herc, so I don't think I'd really go for Hulkling or Galen yet. I'd definitely wait more on those guys. So, we got Scorpion, Kingpin, Fury, or Diablo. I would take out Kingpin out of the running, unless you're like a really big Kingpin fan. He's he's sick, but... Um, I don't know. Not, I, I just think some... I think personally, I'd rather rank up some of the other champs first. So, I think it comes down between Scorpion, Nick Fury, and Diablo. So, I think I'd hold off on nick fury he doesn't really like i think nick i, I want to rank for my nick fury but like he's definitely not one that i wanted to do like right away like he's one more i'd say wait till you, your rank for a little bit more filled out and then do nick fury so then <clears throat> we narrow down to scorpion or diablo and i think both of these champions are absolutely incredible um i think diablo is a bit more suicide mastery Reliance, like if you're using him, you want to be running suicides. So, let me ask you a question Do you run suicides often? You run Herc and Nimrod, so I feel like you probably do. So, I feel like Diablo would make sense for you, especially if you do run suicides a lot. The Scorpion is also decently suicide friendly and just an absolute beast. So, yeah, man, I, I, I think it comes down to Diablo or Scorpion and. Both are really, really good. So, yeah. I, I can't really narrow it down any further than that. Cause in your shoes, those would be the two I'd be choosing. Like four. And, dude, thank you very much for the five. Let's get you up there. You're in loathing. Yeah. That's how you say it. Right. You're in loath. I run full, full, full suicides and don't play Alliance War. Okay, yeah, man. Diablo, <laughs> he's just such a monster. I really want to awaken my Diablo so I can take him up. And yeah, you run suicide. Yeah, man, I think I'd just say go Diablo. Yep. What's up, Gogeta? <laughs> Dude, Gogeta is one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball. Favorite Fuse character, for sure. Your legs, how are you doing, man? Uh, any changes or any chances of you making another new account challenge like BG? Maybe. The only way I could really see myself doing it is if it was like with Brian and we were doing like a competition to like like a race or something. That'd be fun. Thank you, legs. Yeah, man, no problem. Thank you for the five, bro. And that was just a very I, I really like questions like that. Like that's you're in a good position to be in. It's, it's, it's good to put myself in your shoes. I definitely want to get a rank 4 Herc someday. And Nimrod too, honestly. Nimrod's pretty pretty far down on the list, though. Won't be rank 4 in him for a while. But definitely one day, for sure. Man's beast.
Uh, yes, legs. England guy says hi. Watching well, a holiday in Germany. Chilling, watching at bedtime after beer. What's up, Adam? Sounds good, man. I definitely want to go to uh, England and Germany one day. I definitely want to go like to at least every continent one day. You know, in my lifetime, I definitely want to say that I've been to every continent for sure. Getting, going to every country is you know, like way too much. But every continent, I feel like I can definitely hit that. Definitely want to, man, I was going to go to Europe to meet up with Seton a couple years ago, but that's when like COVID really got bad, so the trip got canceled. Super unfortunate. All right, nice. Only one more run in here, and then we'll have all milestones complete. Wonderful. I think I'm still good for the gauntlet. Uh, this year's the gauntlet. Uh, yeah, he's all right. He's just kind of annoying to build up, like usual, you know. And there are some. There are a lot more options now, too. Hello, sup, bro? Please say hello to my daughter, uh, Constanza? Am I saying that right? She's watching you. What's up, Constanza? That's a cool, really, really cool name. Hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> Never heard before. It's really cool to, every time I hear a, a name for the first time, awesome. Unique names are the way to go. Leg, since you like Dragon Ball, uh, will you ever play Dokkan or Legends? They are really fun to me. I think you should try them out. I don't know, man. Never, never heard of them. Uh, you'd be welcome at mine in Cambridge, England, 30 minutes from Seton's house. Damn, man. Okay, Adam. Maybe one day, dude. That'd be sick. Legs transitioning from Captain America the Winter Soldier phase to Infinity War phase <laughs> with the beard. <laughs> hey man, I like I every time I get compared to like Captain America, <laughs> like me, like okay, I take that as a massive compliment. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Um, should we claim the units now? No, we'll save it. Claim them all later at once. For a big payoff. Okay. Let's go jump over to this arena. How many points do we need to get here? Is it just four mil for everything? Or is it more? Oh, it is. What the? We're almost done this already? Crap. Damn. Let's bring the mutant squad. Yo, what's up, ladies? About to finish 7.2 exploration while watching your stream, Deadtron. Great work, man. It's the when master, right? 2.2. Here's a fun fight. Grab egg on up on spam, Modoc, and thing. Uh, how many shards are you saving for Quicksilver or buying more crystals? Um, well. There's, I still really want Rintra and Scorpion from this current feature, so I'm still going to go on for a few more. Um, and then I'm going to open up Quicksilver's Early Access Bundle, see if I get really lucky. If I pull him and Gallon, then no need for me to even start saving, you know? So we'll see. Dokkan is a grinding PvE Dragon Ball Z game, and Legends is PvP. Okay, interesting. 2-5, I haven't seen you in a while, man. That was good legs. Nice thumbnail, man. The money units and arrival gallon. Yeah, I didn't make that. Someone on Twitter did, and I just thought it was so funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. 2-5, do you still have those, uh, that monitor, like, band thing? What, wasn't I gonna get that from you? <laughs> totally forgot about that. Keep fighting Hercules in, a, er, in the arena. I hate fighting him anywhere. It's just annoying. Die. 
full five star Omega today with the Grandmaster Crystal. Uh, I don't know what that means anymore, dude. Uh, five star Omega could be Omega Red or Omega Sentinel these days. You gotta, you gotta specify. Should have gone for Red Guardian phase instead. <laughs> or should I have gone? No, no, no. I, I much prefer being called Captain America. <laughs> I do have a little bit of water weight, though. What was that massive leg spike? As he threw the special mid special, dude. What? How am I supposed to evade you that leg? Yep, you said it so nice. She was smiling. Oh, I'm glad, man. Bearded legs over shaven legs. I agree, but I think, like, I think. I look best with like about half of this beard size, you know, like trimmed, looking clean. That's my best look. So a tech squad. Oh, uh, what's up, Sam? Legs. I'm by on my way home. How's the grind? Also, I'm sure. I'm sure I know who my next rank four is. Uh, dude, it's the grind's all right. Uh, just getting these milestones. How's rank for Hulkling serving you? Wouldn't, wouldn't be it better if you would have chosen Herc? Or are you still with your decision? Like I could see the thrust in you for rank for Harold Herc. Um, no man, I love Hulkling. He is an incredible rank four, and the main reason why I uh took him to rank four was because of his offensive and defensive potential. I think Hulkling is a better champ than Hercules uh, if we're factoring offense and defense. I think Hercules is stronger on offense, but I think Hulkling is a lot stronger on defense. Like, if, Let's say we gave like 10 points for offense and defense. Like Hercules, I'd give him like... I'd give him like probably like... An 18, 17, 18, 10 out of 10 in attack, and actually, eh, I'm gonna give him a little less. He's annoying. I give him like a seven on defense, six, seven. So I give him like a, a 16, 17. Hopefully, I give him like a nine on offense, and then I give him like probably a nine on defense. So he'd have his total score of like 18, whereas Hercules would be like 16, 17. So that's kind of my reasoning for Hulkling to rank 4, my first Cosmic Champ. It's because his defensive potential, I think, is so strong. And yeah, that's really worth for me, especially in Battlegrounds. While still also being an incredible attacking option. It's, I really love champs like that. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. My day's really more so just getting started, though. But it's not a pretty good start. I remember I recently cleaned my garage out last year. I think I threw them away. I didn't know. You think you still wanted them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, it's all good. My bad. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Wong? I think Wong's really cool. I liked him more than Rincher initially. But I'm starting to see... Rincher's power but i still do like long he's cool would like to pull him yeah trimming a fresh cut always great definitely f defense no i don't want to don't say f defense man battlegrounds uh defense is extremely important to me now that's our Omega Sentinel. Nice, man. That's great. Honestly, like I think it's it's way better for newer players to be pulling Omega Sentinel than it is Omega Red. Because with Omega Red, you want suicides. You want high sig. With Omega Sentinel, I mean, you could also want suicides and high sig, but she is still... Totally super amazing without either of them. So, it's awesome.
Okay, guys, ready? We're gonna nuke this guy down. Ready? Ready? We just need a dex three times. Never mind. Aw, oh, man, he blocked it. Son of a... Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Now he'll melt. Should happen for fun. What do you think about the $50 champ bundles in the store? I don't know, man. I, I find it crazy that, like, some people are getting mad at that. And, like, some people are saying they're going to quit the game because of that. It's like, dude. It's an offer. Don't buy it. Like, what? <laughs> Bruh. No one is forcing anyone to buy anything. If you want it and you got the 50 bucks... Cool. If not, don't buy it. Who cares? Like, what? I don't get how people get mad at that kind of stuff, man. It boggles my mind. Like, most days, I don't even open the store tab to see what's there. Like, I, it, it doesn't affect me because I don't plan on spending. Like, who cares? I do not get bored of Arena. Well, I did. I haven't really done Arena for the last two years. Um, yeah. But now, I really need gold, so... And it's it's easy to not get bored when I'm streaming and talking to all you beautiful people, so... It's actually not hard at all. Oh, so Apoc can just bypass miss him? Great. Get out of here, boy. Did Arena Arena's hunk of junk challenge and got super scroll. That's not horrible. Um, hopefully he does get buffed one day though. <laughs> God, he's new uh, as well, so people are kind of familiar with his animation stuff. Yeah. I think the only problem with Wong is his lack of buff control except for three. Yeah, that's fair. Rick McIntyre story content are going back to 100%. Um, for story content, what I recommend, pretty much, is just initial clears. Initial clears are your best friend. Keep initial clearing stuff. Rewards are worth. Orange Bolt 6 star gallon? That's sick. I think they are decent offers. Also, you make a good point. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I think they're decent offers, too. How do I get units when I'm done uh, all the lower level acts? Grind Arena. Neutralizer, Stagger, Stagger or maybe Fate Seal. Well, they all have their own plus sides and downsides. Uh, Neutralize, I think, is the most powerful, but it still has a downside of the fact that you don't gain Mystic Dispersion power. I think Neutralize is, is the best, though, and uh, I think Kabam is pushing that agenda as well with all these new champs, like Gallon and others, where Neutralize is the way to go. Alright, guys, we're going to run these guys now. We need... This one goes to, like, 4.5 million, right? It's crazy. 4.4. I've never completed all the milestones in this arena, but let's get cracking. I have boosts? I do. Okay. Let's use these. Exactly, they're acting as if someone is forcing them to buy the offer, just people whining about anything. Sometimes it feels that way. You know what you're paying for, and if you pay for it and don't like it, it's your own fault. Exactly. Like, when when, when you buy those offers, like, don't look at it as, I'm buying this to try to get luck, to hopefully get lucky and be like expecting. Like, with those offers, man, 
you're buying what you see at face value. So the shards, the boosts, and the guaranteed champion. That's what you're buying. Everything else is extra. Those crystals are extra. And so... And yeah, like it's a gamble. Those crystals, crystals in this game are just a gamble. So you gotta buy that knowing that. I'm gonna fully evade this right now. Let's go. Well, he died anyways. Be X7 and Awaken Ghost out of my Nexus. Can you tell me how you usually play your legs? Um. Ghost? Well, you're gonna wanna. My biggest tip is learn your phase time. And what that means is essentially. I think you have like, like a two second window every time you phase. But two seconds in an MCOC fight is a long time. And you can take multiple hits into your phase during that time. So just get, get comfortable with that. What I have to do is take like one to two hits into my phase and then counterattack. Go for a medium. And just practice doing that with her. Called like phase intercepting, essentially. Popping some Quicksilver calves? Some, yes. Personally, I like the idea of a monthly feature Fester Bundle. I even bought Gallon, but uh, these new ones are kind of a bit of a cash grab. Uh, as you said, though, we don't have to buy if we don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like the new ones, too. I bought the Gallon... I, I bought one of the Gallon ones as well. So that I could um, make champs in two heralds. It's guaranteed value. How do I become as handsome as you? Grow it a beard, man. It helps to mask my ugliness. And it blocks out double chins. Dude, beards, beards, are, beards are OP. Makes you look older. You can get the older women. Great. Uh, Legacy, be proud of me. I use a generic wing gem and rank for black cat max simping mode activated. Dude, Grease. Pretty sick, dude. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be doing my first rank 4 skill soonish. And I haven't 100% decided who I'm gonna do yet. I have 6 star rank 2 thing. My 5 stars are rank 5 Dark Hawk CGR and X23. Both unduped. Shang-Chi and Tiger both on Duke. I'm going to use them for Act 6. Nice, Nin. That's a lot of really good champs you got there. Still doing a kitty guide. Yeah, for 100k subs. Gonna have a really awesome kitty pride ultimate guide. Just throw in the... So for anyone who wasn't playing back in the day, this team right here was everything. It was literally called the Holy Trinity. This was the best team in the entire game. Super lucky to get Gallon duped from his cat. Soon be my next rank five. Nice man. That's it. Gallon's awesome. Bro exploiting the beard strap. Legacy pulling. Um, maybe. I've, I've had, I've dated more girls this year than I have my entire life for this year combined. Which is uh, kind of crazy when I think about it that way. Um... Dude, Ghost Rider really needs a buff compared to his cosmic variation, dude. Ghost Rider needs a big buff. What's up, PWF? Your legs learn how to play Kitty from your streams. Made in my first rank by 5 star. Just beat Ultron with her in 5.4.6. Gonna get the three similar passes to get an awakening for Kitty. Dude, nice. I'm proud of you. Togi, keep it up.
You're done with the gauntlet though? Are you asking me, Kevin? Yeah, I'm done with the gauntlet. Legs of ladies, man. That's awesome, I guess. <laughs> um, more so now. Definitely. Look at every girl, but. I, I understand. Well, it, it was before I would just get like, kind of like really nervous and like, just in my head a bunch. And like it just was harder for me to talk to girls, but like I'm, I got over that like I'd say like a year and a half ago. Like I just I'm a, I'm a lot more socially adept now. I'd say uh, like I can just easily have a conversation with just about anyone now, and that just doing that, just talking to like strangers, like anyone, guys, girls, older, younger, it doesn't matter. Like just talking to people and just getting more experience just talking it's just it's it's a game changer dude get out of your shell let's go for an all girls team That Sigma male lifestyle. Doing it at 100k subs. I uh, thought that was the hot gummy thing. Kitty guide will just help sub count. Um, why can't there be multiple things for hitting 100k? Which 2016 champ is your favorite? Uh, dude, I don't remember. 2016 champs. I'd probably say Hyperion though. Hyperion or Ghost Rider. Those were the champs that came out when I was playing in 2016. Oh, I'm dead. Am I dead? Oh, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, I started playing in October of 2016, and that was the month Ghost Rider came out. And I grinded for him as a four star in Arena. I was in the beginners bracket. And I did the same for Hyperion. He came out in December. It was like my last chance to take advantage of the beginner's bracket. And I secured a four-star Hyperion, having a two-month-old account. It's pretty great. The only use for Ghost Rider is the blade synergy, but damn, I wish Blade had that synergy on base. Yeah. Sixty ninth like baby, thanks Benjamin. I uh, took Nimrod to rank four, cried tears of happiness. Dude, nice. Sick rank four. I was saying earlier, I definitely want to rank four Nimrod one day. Uh, it's just definitely not next on my list, but. Maybe like 10 rank 4s from now, he'll go up. Kitty blocking us, I guess, eh? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kitty blocking you hard. Looking forward to it though. Yeah, like I want to make it like a really, really good guide too. Like not just, like, I want to make it really special. I think Kitty's arguably the best champ in the entire game with Tiger Synergy. So I feel like the guide needs to be quality showcasing what possible best champ the game can really do. You know what I mean? And teach you guys how to really take advantage of her and use her to her full scope. As 4th rank for 200 sig ghost or 50 sig 50 null or no sig shang chi nimrod. Um, I'd probably go null out of those, but I'd try to get him some more sigs. But he's definitely the one I'd want to rank for the most are those that you mentioned.
need to pop a couple more arena boosts. Likes Kitty Guide equals Pete's Ghost Guide. Yes. Until we hit 100k, exactly. <laughs> I just say it's coming. And then, uh. I try to do the Presser X versus Abyss Luke fight unsuccessful. That sounds very hard, dude. Possible, but very hard. First rank 4 was Kitty because of you, like, nice, dude. Nice. He was my rank 4 as well. I try to do all EQ difficulties without energy pills. Um, trying to get used to. That's smart. I usually do use some refills. Just like when I get close to getting cab done, I just, one day, like, when I, if I have, like, I don't know, like, five pass left, I'll just, like, within, like, the first, like, two quests, I'll just pop some refills, get done, you know? And then I, then I start going through uncollected, trying to not use refills. Depends on the month, though, for how far, I guess. Um, last month, 100% of both. You want to see BG's website, yeah. I feel like BG's website is just basically Aunt May, but like BG couldn't make it. I feel like Aunt May is like the website. Like we got Aunt May, but there's no need for anything else. Dude, Aunt May is incredible. Arena needs patience. It's damn boring. No, well. You don't really need patience. What you need is something to distract you while you do arena. For example, TV shows, movies, live stream, podcast, um, or live streaming yourself, which is what I'm doing right now. I got all of you guys to keep this from getting boring. So that's what it's all about. You gotta supplement something else into your arena grind. Um, Alright, let's open up a couple crystals though. Something like 30. Okay, that's good. And then, do you guys want to see some live alliance war right now? With the rank 4 human torch? Let's do it. Yo, what's up, Mad Cat? I'm using this to distract from Marina, exactly. What's up, Donut? I'm gonna still call you Donut Cop because it just feels weird calling you Donut. What's up, Ghost Dog? How's everyone's weekend going? It's going pretty good, man. Got pretty uh, drunk yesterday. <laughs> I watched your Umbrella Academy of Grinding. Nice. Or throwing a baseball game while doing Arena Cafe Q, which I'm doing. Nice, Rob. Yeah, that works too. Alright, guys, let's get a little. Live Alliance War though. A little Wong action here. So we got Spite, Rise to Power. Okay. Thank you for your reply. It's my first time live chatting with you. Oh, nice. Manvith. Glad you're here, bro. Nice. Max that temperature. Perfect. See ya, Wong. Dude, I can't wait till Human Torch is whitelisted. I'm gonna have a fun season. Okay. Uh, let's take Hulkling for a spin. Let's see how this fight goes. I don't I definitely don't want him to get too special too. Let's get a couple block hits in here, nice. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay though. It's literally okay. This fight's over, man. Guys, you guys ready for this? Watch. Dude, like this champ is so good. Yeah. Love my Hulkling, dude. Easy. He makes fights easy. He's so strong. 
Crazy. Let's just chill. We have 19 in here. What the heck? Arena combat? What's up, DTM? What's finished here? Get back in arena. Like simping for Hulkling. I mean, dude, did you not just see how good he is? Like, <laughs> that guy's so good. It's insane. I love him. What's up, Lorison? Good to see you, bro. Think Quicksilver will be good for AW offense or or defense? I think he's going to be really good on offense. Um, I think he might be okay on defense on the right places, but I don't think he'll be that good. Some champs are also really able to take advantage of his extremely long combos, like Kitty, Ghost, um, Archangel, um, Captain Marvel, movie version. 60 mil wasn't enough for Sauron or Warlock or Doom. Guess folks wanted Blade. Damn. I wanted Blade, man. I should have done that guy. A full Hulk link after rank 4 video, but no Sig deserves rank 4. I mean, he really does not need to be awakened, dude. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've seen some undo prank force. Oh, let's go, man. Mephisto had his soul imprisoned, so buddy can't go immortal. <laughs> Your soul's mine, boy. Question one. Do Black Widow, Dead Origin, or undo Hitmonkey to rank three? Question two. Diablo, Black Widow, Clark Boy to rank four. So, question. Oh, my God. A lot of questions. Uh, Mr. Fantastic or Mr. Negative, rank four. Dude, go with whichever of those champs you like. If if, if it was me, I'd go Hit Monkey, Diablo, and Mr. Fantastic. But that's just my personal preference. All are good champs that you listed. Like three tips for hoarding six star shards. I can help myself, or can't help myself, and love watching a crystal spin. I feel that, dude. It's uh, it's definitely not easy. I used to be really like that too. Like just as soon as I got a crystal, I just open it. Uh, doing YouTube definitely started to teach me patience. I I still had a lot to learn, but you know, like the mind, the whole mindset of you know saving to make for bigger openings, bigger, better videos, more views. That definitely, I would do that like early on. Now, I have really no problem hoarding because just you got to focus on the payoff. So, why are you saving in the first place? What's your reason for saving? For example, if I started saving right now for the next featured pool, it would be for Quicksilver mainly, but also Valkyrie and Gallon, plus another champ that we don't even know yet. But my main focus would be on Quicksilver, so I would just focus on that. I would focus on getting Science Sig Stones, make sure I have all the Science Catalysts, maybe try to get a Science Awakening Gem, uh, and just like grind other aspects of the game to get ready, or grind Arena, like I am right now, which is true, to get gold so that I can rank 4 Quicksilver. And then, when you start focusing your time and effort in the game, prepare for getting that champion it makes you know saving those crystals easier because it's like okay I'm saving these for this champion gotta do it and it's, yeah it just kind of makes it a bit easier i find i don't know that's kind of my mindset going into it and what i try to think of just focus on that end game focus on opening up a ton of crystals at one point it makes makes it hard now but it makes the big payoff at that point Happy Saturday, legs. Feels before reels. Happy Saturday to you too, man. What characters would you like to see added to the game right now? For me, it would be Sandman and Stormbreaker Thor. Yeah, dude, both of those sound incredible. I'd also really like to see Black... Um, is it... I'm trying to think... 
get his name now. No, I was thinking, thinking of Black Adam, thinking of The Rock. <laughs> um, no, I'm trying to think of Blue Marvel. That's who I want to see, man. I want to see Blue Marvel get added so badly, dude. I voted for him. Dude, if Blue Marvel got added, he, he would have hit harder than Hercules, man. Oof. I want to see Blue Marvel get added so bad. Man, last night I was watching this video with The Rock and Kevin Hart, so... I don't know, I just had The Rock on my mind. I love The Rock, dude. That guy's awesome. I can't wait to see Black Adam, though. That movie... I'm really looking really forward to it. But, uh, yeah, man. Blue Marvel. If you guys don't know who Blue Marvel is? He is... He's essential. I think he's stronger than Sentry, honestly. But he's on the same level of Sentry in terms of power. So... Extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. He'd be so OP. Or Kabam would just make him suck. <laughs> like they did Sentry. <laughs> Who will be the next featured also? Oh wait, that's true. I forgot about that. Oh no, so we so we do know everyone in the next featured name. Yeah, it'll be Wiccan Valk Four. We know Wiccan Valk Four. That's three. Hulkling Gallon is five. We still don't know one of them, right? Yeah. percent of the player base don't need to hoard the odds of getting a featured champ from the feature to solo youtube we open a lot of crystals for that one pull i don't think being a youtuber has anything to do with it though man i think it's what's best for your account and sometimes what's best for your account is what like for, for like if you pull everyone from this current featured and your roster is like extremely developed and all the champs you're really missing is just the new champs then it makes completely logical sense to start just saving for the next feature. In my mind, anyways. That's pretty much what I'm doing. That's pretty much my own scenario. But I still really want Rintra and Scorpion, so I'm still kind of focusing on this pool. And you open 40, don't get uh, Omega Sentinel. That would suck. I'm gonna start joining UMBG on these arena streams. Really desperate for the units and gold. Yeah, man. That's uh, that that's also. Now that I think about it, that's that's awesome. Like, uh, gold is a really big problem in game right now. But arena is so boring that maybe if I grind and stream my grinds a little bit more, then that'll encourage some of you guys to also grind that arena with me and deal with the, the gold issues that we all have. Not all of us. Some people have like hundreds of millions of gold. Which, it's usually either two sides of the extremes. They're either a massive arena grinder, so they just have a ton of gold. Or they're just a massive whale that never touch arena, that just have so much gold from opening crystals. It's usually one of the- and then, those are like the two extremes, and then everyone else is just in the middle of those two extremes. <laughs> We're, and everyone in the middle needs gold. <laughs> I'm in, definitely in the middle. Man, it's crazy. I was watching a video, my video from the gold offers last year. So if you guys remember, for the first ever time in the game, they offered us crystals for gold. Like, we could get a six-star Nexus, class Nexus, for gold. I think it was like 9 to 10 million to buy everything. And back then, I had like 30 million gold. So, like, I had more than enough. But now, dude, I don't even think I could afford that. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm also kind of doing Arena in case that offer comes back. I want to be prepared for it. I want to have a lot of gold. But at the same time, if it's not worth it, I... I it, it, like, if we had the same offer as last year for gold now, for the same price, I don't think I'd buy it. They'd have to make it a lot better. And I think that they... I think they'll make it better. I don't know if they'll make it a lot better. But When's the Living Tribunal getting added into the game? I don't know. I, I think he's already sort of in-game. Slightly Easter egg, at least, of him, I think. Let me go confirm. Let's fight. Um, 
they should add MCU Moon Knight. 100% agree. And you should have pre-fights to like switch between Mr. Knight, Moon Knight, and the other guy. Onslaught would make a nice addition. Yeah, so Onslaught, man, he's like Magneto and Professor X's hatred, like, and he has like both their powers and stuff, right? That sounds <laughs> insane. What? Dude, I was I recently just found out about Onslaught. The character sounds ridiculous. I'd love to see that in MCOC. He'd be the new god of the mutants. I know the video you're talking about with The Rock and Kevin Hart. Is it about Meg D. Stalin? Yes! yes! Something about her thigh, right? Yeah, they did mention her. <laughs> That's so funny, you knew. I mean, there's a lot of videos of them together, but you knew exactly the one I was talking about. That's crazy. And September 1st champ, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder who's going to be the champs next month. I have no idea. I've been following this guy though, he's been predicting, he, I think he's predicted like every month pretty accurately so far. I think he was predicting, actually we should go pull it up, you know what, let's go pull it up. Um, Onslaught is definitely my most wanted edition, yeah. Dude, he sounds insane. Okay, I want to sh check something real quick, real quick, the Living Tribunal, an easter egg of him, I think is in MCOC, let me double check. So it's to do with Mordo. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mention it here, but I'm pretty sure Mordo's weapon is from the Living Tribunal. I think they said that in the Doctor Strange movie. But it doesn't really mention it here, I don't think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that weapon is from the Living Tribunal. Anyways, um, let me see if I can find that dude's predictions. I do find it. It'll be on Twitter. I think it was... Was it j -X? Yeah, it was. Okay, good. Okay, guys, so if you're interested in hearing about what champions could be coming to the game, stay tuned. If you don't want to have it spoiled or you don't want to hear anything, these aren't leaks, these aren't confirmed, they're just predictions. But I know not everyone wants to, like, know, so it's just this is your warning. If you don't want to see it. All right, let me show you guys. So, got J-Axe here. So in January, he predicted Toad and, I don't know if that's, hold on. Uh, or maybe the red here means that was not a right prediction? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, he predicted Black Cat Scorpion, these ladies, Rencher Wong, Wiccan Hulkling, Val, uh, yeah, Valkyrie and Gore. He said a Herald for August with Quicksilver, and it's Gallon himself. Uh, and then September here we have Absorbing Man, and or here let me move this down a bit. So we have Absorbing Man here, and I'm not sure who this chick is. And then October, we have this is what I'm really excited for this. Like, Doctor Strange looking Spider-Man? Dude. Sorcerer, Spider-Man, Spider Sorcerer Supreme? Is that a thing? That sounds sick. I think it's Tatiana from the She-Hulk show. Okay, I don't know who that is, but alright. And then, November we have M'Baku, and... I don't know who this guy is. And then December we got Mantis. Spider-Supreme. That dude. That would be so sick. This guy's a Tuma? Is he something to do with like Atlantis or something? 
And then yeah, so that those are his predictions, and he's been he's been predicting with some pretty good amount of accuracy. So tweet. I don't see anything from you, Martin. I'm not I'm not seeing nothing. Yeah, let's get back in arena. Actually, let me check AQ real quick. Oh, nice, we can move. Spider Doctor Strange looks sick, right, dude? That would be amazing. I really... Like... Because, real quick, let me show you guys my Mystic roster. Dude, why does my game keep crashing? It's so annoying. But, um... I've been thinking a lot about who I want my second rank 4 Mystic Champion to be. And I... I want it to be someone with Neutralize, I think. But Rintra is becoming a pretty common rank 4, especially in 4 Loki. And I don't really want to do Tigra. And I don't really want to do Wiccan either, because I find him to be a little squishy. So I really want Spider Strange or Spider Supreme to be... This insane Spider-Man mystic character with neutralize and a whole bunch of other stuff. I want to be really good. And I want to rank for him. That's like ideal best case scenario. That's what I want to see, man. He's so sick. Uh, Martin sent over a buck. Did, let me check Twitter again. Huh. Tagged you one minute ago. Um, Martin, I'm not seeing anything. Let me open a new Twitter tab. Are you sure you tagged me, man? I don't see anything. The last time I was tagged was three hours ago. Make sure you tag Legacy69 on Twitter. Predictions about Cyber Weekend deals in November. Ooh, I don't know, man. I, I, I really wonder if... What Kabam's gonna do, like, I just, I don't, like, I want to predict, but I don't want them to cuck me again with, uh, with, with, like, the format. So, like, last year, they had, like, a whole store for Cyber Weekend, so then we kind of assumed they were gonna have a store for July Weekend, but they didn't. They went, they backtracked, went back to the 15k standard unit offer. So, I don't know. I wonder if they're gonna stick with the store. I hope they do. I hope they keep the store for Cyber Weekend and then just keep the the 15k deal July weekend. They both have their own. Martin, is your Twitter set to private maybe? Or just tell me your Twitter and I'll look you up. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything in my noties. Ooh, Thanos is a guilty soul. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Fudge. We gotta obey the special first. There we go. Now we can do that. I didn't do as much. But you're dead. I'm fed up with arena crystals. <laughs> Who needs Mystic Spidey? Then why have mutant? Then M2C have every class Spidey? Yeah, man, I want to see that. They could they could easily do a mutant Spider-Man too. They just gotta do. Um... Here, I'll show you guys. Is it called this? Yeah, it is. They can do this for uh, for a mutant version of Spider-Man. Uh, show you guys. It's called Man Spider. It looks like this. It's basically like the spider taking over. It's like six arms. It's crazy. 
man spider. He could be me. This is like the, the spider mutation literally like taking over. So it would make sense for it to be a mutant. It'd be crazy. Let me check Twitter again. Still not see anything. Uh, no, I share them with BG all the time. That's really weird, man. Martin, just tell me you're at. No, I'll look you up. Unless you're trolling me. I can't, I don't know. Oh, have I not been boosting? Or have I been? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. Been drooling over, uh, new Spider-Man characters. If they don't have a store, I'm going to riot. I saved up 30k units for July and then couldn't spend them. <laughs> What's up, Tanner? Um, alright, Martin. I'm gonna look you up right now. We'll see if you're trolling me. I don't think you are. Oh, dude, I looked you up, and I see your tweet, and you tag me. And that's, yeah. Why is that not in my notifications? What? <laughs> Twitter just being dumb? Finally. Got to see what you're talking about here. So, gold struggle? Oh, dude! You have more than 69 T2A in overflow. What? And 11,000 gold. Martin, you gotta get your butt in the arena right now, mister. Yikes. Damn, dude. Uh, if that's real, we only need a mutant Spidey to complete all classes, yeah? And I just showed you guys a mutating Spider-Man, so... I can eventually get them all. I don't know why that wasn't working, Martin. I'm sorry. Uh, just Twitter being dumb. But, uh, yeah, dude, get your button, Arena. They should add a Cosmic Spider Man. He should be insanely OP. We already have one. They just need. They should just buff Symbiote Spider Man. Uh, Sp Symbiote Spider Man is one of my absolute favorite versions of Spider Man. Um, the only version I like more than that, I think, is. Carnage Spider-Man, which is crazy. Oh yeah, this version of Spider-Man was in comic Spidey series in childhood? Yeah, it was in the 90s cartoon. That's where I first saw it. Uh, it was very cool. Okay. I'm not that good, but I secured the four-star gallon to add to the roster. Is he good, though? Yeah, man, he's great. Good job securing him. I think you'll get Iron Spider first. Let's see a Spider-Man Noir soon. Be cool. Should add class just for Spider-Man characters, yeah. Graham should buff Cosmos Spidey to celebrate MCU Secret Wars. That'd be sick. Seeing legs use four stars reminds me of old times. <laughs> yeah. I'm really hyped about that potential wizard Spider-Man though. Dude, if, you, if he's good, we're going hard for him. My Doom's only rank 4, and he's higher PI than these guys. That's funny. What's up, Pooba? Uh, what's up, Lags? I don't know if you're, you're a regular comic book reader, but if you get a chance, check out uh, Judgment Day. It's a storyline going on in Marvel. It's about the Eternals, X-Men, and Avengers. This sounds interesting. Um, so, my whole life, never read a single comic book. 
But this summer, I started reading uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. And I read like the first 150 issues of that. Really good, really liked it. I am looking to read more. Booba, also, uh, I think we're fighting this war, right? I guess how your defenders? Yeah, I think I was fighting them on stream, actually. Was it? I think it was your Wong I was fighting. Was it? I think. Like Spear, Spider Man, Ben Riley is my favorite. That'd be cool. Maybe Spidey will get the Kamala treatment, all versions will just be mutants. I like Spear, Spider Man, it's the version of Peter Parker's body with Doc Ock's mind. Yeah, that's a crazy version. One of the most messed up things that's ever happened to Spider-Man. Get his body taken over. Jeez. Alright, we're gonna go for some... Some boosted three stars, I think. Yeah. Times three years. Get should get a good amount of points. Love see Iron Spider, yeah. Be cool. Bam should add the Celestials to MCOC. That'd be crazy. Not as like playable characters though, but like as like bosses. That'd be really cool. The Celestials just like crash the contest for like a whole act. That'd be sick. Uh, yeah, we're facing y'all, but I'll check that storyline out. It's only like four issues in. You probably can read the only lines. Those are looking at mutants like deviants. There's so much, as I'll tell you. It does sound pretty cool, man. I'll look into it. If you know the PS4 Spidey game, there are more than 20 suits in that game, and every version can be a new edition of MCOC. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, dude, I, I wish I had a PS4. I mean, I used to have one, then I sold it. I, I really want to play those Spider-Man games. We would get younger versions of Celestials, like Overseer Gallon, probably. Uh, I don't know about that. Chest shields is final boss in every mission of every chapter. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I would like to see. That sounds cool. Let's play with some little quick three star quick silver. Against this Dormammu, perfect. Yeah, we definitely need Morbius. Gotta have some, it's Morbin time. Morbius lost the boat, yeah. Okay guys, so Quicksilver, here's briefly how you play him. Heavy, dash back a ton. Okay, now he's slowed. Now we're good to go. As you see, we don't degen at all either here. Which is pretty nice. Silver, I can't wait to get this guy. Oh, this whole man's unduped. <laughs> See ya, bro. Bam goes crazy in the graphic department, but I wish there was 60 FPS, would make things so much more smoother. Is the game capped at 30? Like you say, there's a new Dragon Ball Super movie. Yeah, dude, it's coming out soon. It's gonna be sick. 
I'm very hyped for it. It's been so long without uh, Dragon Ball, new Dragon Ball content. 13 hit combos feel weird, need to adapt to it sometime. Oh, it feels very weird. It, honestly, after you play with them for like a couple hours, yeah, you get used to it. Well, I did anyways. Might take you a little longer, but it wasn't too bad. You've got to be kidding me, I thought it was a joke. The Morbin time? Uh, when Rank 5 comes out, will Quicksilver be your first? I've, it's, it's way too early to say that, man. <laughs> my, my first might be a champ that's not even out yet. Who knows? She's capped at 30, but Kabam said they were working on 60 FPS at the graphics section. I don't know what happened, and there haven't been any updates. Huh. Interesting. Hope for Guardians Volume 3, we get the higher evolutionary name. He could be like a tech or sniper to Apoc or Gallon. Interesting. I think we're definitely going to get Adam Warlock when that movie comes out. So if we had Adam Warlock and the higher. Uh, uh, what do we call him? Evolutionary, That's that would be a, such a sick month. Oh, I didn't mean to use special three, but okay, skip, you're good. I really wish the skip function worked in every mode. It's, it's so good. Go for the Holy Trinity as three stars. These three star boosts or times three boosts are so good. Like, do stream where you challenge people in MCOC arcade game at Dave and Buster's. That sounds like fun. If there was one near me, I totally would do that. Mr. F or Void, in your opinion. Uh, Void. Love Void, he's an OG. I'll always love him. But I still do like Mr. Fantastic. Can I clap your cheeks, bruh? What kind of question is that? Beard the beard. Like since all September 22nd base arena, how many millions will we need to get her? No idea, my dude. Darko saying 80 mil for the six star. What's up, pile? Took void up as my up to rank four is my third. Always void. Wow, nice man. That's cool. Legs, who should I rank up next? Five star magic to rank five, awaken or six star Herc, unawaken to rank two. I'd go for that Herc, man, and do whatever you can to get him awakened. I took my sister Kitty Pride to rank three and awaken. That was, was that a mistake? No, man, not at all. But you should definitely try to get her awakened. <laughs> Can I clap your cheeks too? Why don't you guys clap each other's cheeks? And then I don't need to get clapped. Sound good? Uh, I go with Herc. Yeah, me too.
What is your opinion on Thanos? The in-game, the in MCOC, he sucks. In the MCU, he's awesome and really cool. Yeah. I think he needs a, a, a badass buff in this game. Here the Power Rangers comic books. Pretty awesome. If not, check it out on Comics Explained. Nah, man, I have not. I didn't even know they had comics. That's interesting. Just blew my mind. Fury and his ladies team going. CMM and Quake. Such a good team. Hey, if you had a, if you had the choice in a Nexus, would you wake in Kitty Pride or take a new apocalypse? I'd take a new apocalypse. Because you can always just give champs an awakening gem. Getting them for the first time is more important. That's okay, Kang needs a buff like Red Magneto. Hell yeah, that'd be sick. Can you both underestimate Nebula? Yeah. I mean, she was probably the most underestimated champion in the game before her buff. Trigger protection, if we can. I feel like thanks could, oh, you probably mean Thanos, could be a better version of Psycho Man with basic uh, being able to switch modes with different Infinity Stones, having different abilities, I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be super OP if we had a Thanos that had a full gauntlet of Infinity Stones. If he had like maybe one or two, okay. More than that sounds crazy. Because I guess Overseer has one and Vision has one too. And you have to fight Thanos on the fence. <laughs> yeah. Is Sig 100 Angela okay to take to rank 5 of the 5 star? Yeah. Dude, it's okay to take any champion you want to rank 5 of the 5 star. Don't let anyone tell you differently. It's your account. But that Angela is a really good champ, so yeah. Which Psycho Man was better because I love his animations. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> Do legs. They just like year two ago made a new Power Rangers movie. Uh, Trip me out. Uh, has every Red Ranger in in it for every season. Was cool. Dude, red is just the best color. So of course the Red Ranger is gonna be cool. Uh, and get sent over forty rupees. Tweet please. And Martin also asked for a tweet. Alright, we're heading to Twitter. Let me just finish this fight here. And okay. Let's go to Twitter. YouTube premium pretty good to both stuff dude that's sick i recently just got each premium again too it's okay martin um i still don't see like dude your tweets just aren't here it's so weird man 
Isn't that weird? I search you up here. Um, uh, this is the follow up. Uh, this, bit, this is a bit updated, but still struggling. Been hitting arena and incursions for gold. Have so many just ranked up and sitting at level one to manage the catalysts. Dang. Okay, at least you have some gold now. And wait. Okay, so yeah, you used a lot of those catalysts. That's good, man. That's good. Because you had like almost double this amount before. And more than double uh, on the T5. So yeah, that's good. At least you used some. <laughs> uh, and on kit, man. That's, yeah, YouTube Premium, dude. It's expensive. Like, I, I stopped getting it for a couple months because I was like camping. And at the lake where I'm not really gonna be watching YouTube, but now that I'm back home again, I was like, all right, yeah, it's, it's, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna have this new Destroy Lonely album, crazy favorite rap album of this year. Interesting. What if my short was playable only as a five star? He is, um, overseer. Is Maestro. But it's every time I see BG do arena, he never faces a match with the opponent having higher PI. I have 10 win streak and I'm getting smokes because three times as high. So Ryan. When Brian is grinding arena and you're watching him, because he's on the infinite arena streak. So the infinite arena streak is what I'm also on right now. So all my matches are easy. But from around like 10 to like 18, that's where you have to build up the infinite streak. And that's where you face these hard opponents. So I'll show you an example here. If I use champions that are too low rated, then uh, I'll face really high uh, level champs. And that's a good way to get off the infinite streak. So I'll, I'll show you here. I'll try to. So right here I'm using max out three stars. I don't know what the minimum is in this arena. Let me try a team of maxed out two stars and let's see if I get death matched. Let's see what happens. Okay, so two star Archangel, two star Quicksilver, two star Magic, sure. So let's see if I do this. Yeah, so here now you see I get deathmatched. My total team rating is 3,000, and all of these are at least 10,000. So that's the infinite streak. Alright, now let's struggle and win this. <laughs> so, Overseer, good. Yeah, he's great. Are y'all pushing AW this season? Nope. Ouch. Ouch, dude. Dude. Ouch. Fudge. Better not just throwing away my streak. Okay. Um, I was trying to heavy there, and yeah, that's unfortunate. It's okay, we just gotta win these next two fights. Gotcha, sorry if I mess this up. Nah, it's not on you, it's all good. Jugs over Quicksilver, yeah. Dude, Juggernaut's buff is pretty good. What can I say? What's the next matchup? We have Archangel, right? Who are we fighting? Oh, Black Panther. Uh, okay. We can heavy him in this first phase here. 
Dude, fudge. We still have him now? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, no more heavies though, because I don't want him to go and stop. Good old Archangel. We're fine. We're fine. Streak is protected. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Just making it interesting, guys. You know, just making it interesting. Okay. Go back to three stars. Let's go for the Rock Boys. Organ thing, rock bros. Yo, Ryan, it's number five. Thanks for the tip, man. No problem, bro. No problem at all, man. Thank you so much for the five. Let's get you up there. Oops. There we go. Got a triple header going. Appreciate the five bucks, guys. You're awesome. Daily reminder that Shang Chi is the best skill champ. So I don't think Shang Chi is the best skill champ, just overall per se. However, I do think he's the best skill attacking champ. Like if offense is the only factor, then yeah, I think he's the best skill champ. But when everything else is a factor, prestige, defensive ability, yada yada yada, then I think I gotta give it to Nick Fury overall. Mainly for battlegrounds, because defensive ability actually is extremely relevant now, more so than it ever has been before. So I care about def like before. I didn't care about defenders like at all. It just did not matter to me one bit. But now, it's like a really big deal now. Tip Monkey, good champ? Yeah, dude, he's a great champ. When are you going back to Legs Jr.? I don't know. I don't really have a lot of time. It's really hard to play two, two accounts for me. I have a hard enough time focusing on just my main account. Dude, it's honestly faster to, if your Korg is high sig, it's faster to just get hit. And make them take the Rock Hard Thorns damage in some matchups. You're sleeping on Valkyrie. Me? Dude, I love Valkyrie. What do you mean? Oh wait, are you saying because I didn't mention her as dude Valkyrie is not above Nick Fury or Shung Chi. That's just well. She's not above Nick Fury. That's for damn sure. Overall. That's... No. There's no shot. But I do like Valkyrie. I think she's awesome. But I think you're... Overrating her. Um, I don't know if Valkyrie's better than Fury, though. No, I definitely don't think so. Definitely not. Uh, maybe top three skill. Hmm. I think she's a top five skill. I think I can say that, but I don't know. I have to really think about if I'd put her any higher than that. What is the best class in the game? Mutant. Like the mutant class, dude, it's honestly just so, so many really good champions. But then with the horseman factored too, it's it's OP. It's just OP. It's insane. And like, not only does it make really good champions even better when you make them horsemen, but it makes absolute garbage champions into really good champions. Like, Apocalypse just completely changed the whole mutant class, dude. It's crazy.
I want the friend request uh, in Legs Jr. Um, oh yeah, I <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna log on to that account, but when I do, I'll uh, I'll accept you. I haven't logged into Legs Jr. since I recorded the six star opening we did channel a little while ago. Ghost is the best Cosmic Champ in the game. No cap, not gonna lie, for real, for real. Bleed immune is better than Fury. Wait, what? Uh, he's neutered. Valkyrie doesn't have her damage or utility shut off against anyone. That that doesn't matter, dude. Why would you bring Nick Fury against Bleed Immunes? I mean, even if you did, Nick Fury is still good against Bleed Immunes in his second phase. Dude, he hits like a truck. He can't miss, he can't be evaded, and he can't be auto-blocked if he's unblockable. So, yeah. Yeah, dude, no. Like, I would never put Valkyrie above Nick Fury. It's not going to happen. Especially not right now. It's way too soon for that. It's way too soon for that. You're, you're reaching. I get it. Valkyrie's one of your favorite characters. You really like her. You're probably in that honeymoon honeymoon phase with her. I've been there. But you're reaching. You're reaching, man. I wouldn't put Valkyrie over me. You don't know. Absolutely not, dude. People are really overhyping Valkyrie. <laughs> Yikes. Oops, is that a free crystal? Here's a beast, don't get me wrong, but he's so dependent on bleeding the opponent. He's not, though. I bring Nick Fury against matchups where I can't bleed them full time. Just, like, if maybe if there's evade that I'm trying to counter, he still does that well. Just log in for the summoner event stuff. Legs Jr. Don't have time. I, I, yeah, I'm not bothering getting the sunglasses on that account. Dude, like, it's a really bad time. Like, summertime is already really busy for me, so... Like, two accounts? That's... Too much. Once, once we get back to winter... Maybe I'll pick Legs Jr. up a bit again, because like when it's 30 below and I don't want to leave the house, that's when I have time. You know? But in summer, it's hot out, man. I'm trying to enjoy my time, friends, family, all that good stuff. Are you dashing? You did not. Number one overall champ. Um, I'd say there's like three champs in the running: Kitty Pride, Hercules, and Ghost, and Doctor Doom. Fury hits a good truck in that second phase. Yeah. With which champions you were in honeymoon phase with and then bubble burst? Um. Let me look at my roster. Let's say. I was in that honeymoon phase with. Cat Marvel, Sorcerer, Guillotine. Yeah. I was in the honeymoon phase with all those ladies <laughs> at one point or another. 
get back to the grind. Gwenpool, she's cool. She's just outdated. She needs like a small buff. She could be really good again. I mean, Canada too. Nice. Rank for Kingpin or Nimrod for war. Probably, well. It depends on your battle group, man. Do if there's already a rank for Nimrod, then Kingpin. If there's already a rank for Kingpin, then Nimrod. If there's already, if there's no rank fours in your battle group, I think I'd rather go for Nimrod first personally but kingpin's still really good too but most of solid just kind of outdated yeah exactly her and like ghost rider like there's the, these champs that used to be pretty good for that time of the game but now they just compared to what we have now they just they can't compete they just they just need to be updated a bit Bots are calling you legs. Dude, the sex bots? The sex bots love me. What can I say? What can I say? Me and Valkyrie spoke about defense, offense, prestige, and utility, the whole package. Don't think she's better, but she's more well rounded against all opponents, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, in that regard, that's fair. I'd, I'd say she is a, a, fair, a very well rounded champ. I don't think she's that strong on defense, though. Compared to like Nick Fury, but yeah, her prestige is really nice. So yeah, I think we'll go to like 3.2 mil and then I think we'll call it there for the stream. It'll be around the two hour mark too, I think. Sorry if I didn't articulate that well, I just meant she isn't really handicapped. No, yeah, that's fine, man. I I, f I understand more now what you're, what you're trying to get across. I was the first YouTuber on the Human Torch train. Um, Kind of, yeah. I was definitely like... Really, really hyping him up when people... Like, I, it's funny, I, I made a video saying, claiming that Human Torch was God tier. And there was comments, like, arguing that. We can literally go back to that video now and see people saying, dude, like, he's not God tier, yada, yada, yada. And then I've come back to that video and I, I read the comments, like, oh, these guys' comments did not age well for them. <laughs> funny. I remember Legs Honeymoon Phase with Longshot. That's true, definitely. Well, I mean, the thing is, so, back when Longshot came out, for the content creator program, we were only allowed to test five star rank three versions of these new characters. And so I had a, a five star rank three Longshot, and he was out damaging pretty much like every rank five Mystic Champ. I tried. So, before he like actually came out, I have the champion two ranks lower than my maxed out champs, and he's doing more damage. So I, I jumped to some conclusions at that point, which I think is kind of fair to do, because that's really god darn impressive. From a rank three five star, the damage output he was getting was insane. So I, I really thought he was going to become the best Mystic back then. Because the damage was just that good. Um, which, I mean, I, I jumped a little too far. But, like, you, the damage was there. So the damage was there. And I showed it. So, yeah. His damage was just absurd. Same thing with Cull Obsidian. That dude's damage was insane at, rank, at the rank 3 level. Fully built up, he was out damaging like Corvus. Like, it's insane. You think if Quake comes out as a six star, she'll be top three in the game? Yeah, but that's exactly why she won't come out as a six star. <laughs> I hoped at least two. I really don't want to see a six star Quake, man. It's the last thing I want to see. Honest, I just want them to delete Quake from the game, to be honest. 
<laughs> Honestly, just the leader from the game. That's what I'd love to see. Like, I hate seeing people do Grandmaster's Gauntlet. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll just bring Quake for this fight. I'll Quake this, Quake that, Quake this. Oh, how'd you get around this? Oh, I Quaked it. Oh yeah, Quake, 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 Quake. Like, dude, I'm not bringing Quake to Grandmaster's Gauntlet. It's not, never gonna happen. No. No. Done with Quake. No Quake to community with Quake. Dude, I just, I don't know. I, I find her so boring to like watch people play her. And I feel like a lot of people find it boring to also watch Quake gameplay. So from a creator perspective, if the best champ in the game is boring to watch, like, I don't know. And honestly, like the same thing is starting to happen with Kitty. People are finding my Kitty Pride gameplay boring because she's just so broken and I've done it so much that like it starts to get boring. And I, I've been getting bored using Kitty too. So like it's just it becomes a problem when you have one just stupidly strong champ in the game. At the highest level. Oh. Truck deserves the hype though, still had some of the craziest burst damage in the game. Exactly, the numbers weren't lying. The numbers were there to support what I was saying. Oh, we have a ton of skill ones. Also, Legs Jr., you're not on an alliance? Yeah, I know. I, like I said, I haven't played it in a while. Bay isn't going anywhere, legs. Exactly, she's not going anywhere. She'll never be a six star, so enjoy that five star guy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but um yeah, I, I really don't think a band will ever add her as a six star. Um, until maybe um, maybe when we get seven stars, then they'll do it. Quick vision, Dragon Man Cork thing, she's so good. Ugh, gross. That probably took a long time. It's quake in time, you yeah, know. I have no issue with anyone quaking. I won't do it and I won't watch it, but what they do in the privacy of their own homes. Oh yeah, totally. That, it's totally fine for them to do. I just, I don't, like when I'm watching like a guide or like seeing someone do an item list or something, like I'm not trying to see quaking for 20 minutes, you know? No thanks. Find a better counter. Find a direct counter. Remember there was a time when Legs was loving Quake for like a week or two? I wasn't loving her, I was learning her. Uh, and I still can play Quake decently well, but it's just... I don't know. Does it, it doesn't feel like I'm playing the, like MCOC, it feels like I'm playing a different game and I'm it's, I'm breaking it. You know? This is weird. Do you have science ones? No. Just skill. You guys want to see Ace? He's sitting on my lap. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Hey, come here. Come say hi. What are you doing? He's just sleeping on me. What are you doing? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Here, boop, boop. Hey. I'm just going to keep sitting on my lap. <laughs> Do I look like Santa Claus to you? It's funny. I actually got called Santa. Friend's dad called me Santa because my beard. Oh, I think he smells more of his jerky. Is that what you smell, buddy? I think I have one more piece on my desk still. Let me see. What? What do you want? Oh god, he's gonna take my whole headset with him. Watch out, bud. He's hitting on the cord. <laughs> this right here. Is this what you want, buddy? Hmm? Get it. Get it. Go. Yeah, there we go. Good way to get rid of him, just throw something and he'll go run for it. 
Quick is a direct counter to the game. It, yeah, essentially. Uh, okay, with Tiger Synergy is also boring. Swipe left, swipe right. I know. And that's why I don't want to use her for the next War Season. Horrible because I love watching streamers use Kitty. They then play as someone else and rush into danger because they're still in Kitty mode. Like, how do you grind so much arena? Doesn't it get boring? No. Um... Well, yes, but you just gotta find something to do while you're grinding. And when I'm streaming, I'm not bored, so... You are a monster. It likes calling out war planners with their, this quake hate. <laughs> uh, a little bit PWF. That's why I like when quakes banned. She should just be permanently blacklisted from the whole game. Yep. The ace. Does Ace play Quake? Oh yeah, Ace is a Quaker. So cute, yeah, he's very cute. He's uh, he gets all the chicks' attention, man, it's great. He gets everyone's attention, he's like, oh, he's so cute. Will you ever remove the beard? Yeah, at some point. What do you think about Tigra, Kitty, Warlock for my non-cosmic EOP run? Dude, that's like my team that's perfect i think that's like the best team yeah ace is anti kitty yeah i don't understand those who use quake why willingly choose to take forever to do a fight that can be done in mere minutes with the right counter i don't know man you read the message but missed the point legs I'm, that i'm a monster what's up dilly Groot evening? I thought you were about to say Groot evening. I'm doing good though. Um, let's go see if we can get over 12k units, guys. Let's see. Oh, we definitely can. I think we'll get it from just this arena alone. That's satisfying. Just claiming units. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's that feels nice. Just watching the units go up for once instead of down and not spending money. <laughs> nice to see. Awesome. I think we got a couple things to claim here now. I like to, I like to just claim from here so much faster. There we go. More units, nice. Some summoner camp stuff, nice. All right. Perfect. Let's go do a little AQ. Goot is Groot's second cousin, twice removed. <laughs> Watch anime all the arena and I never get bored. The, the problem for me is I, I, I don't like really watching. It, it depends. It depends what I'm watching while I grind arena. Because if it's something that I really like, then I don't want to grind arena and watch it because like then like I'd rather just focus on the show. Like my full attention on the show, you know? Um, But if it's a show where I don't really care too much about, or maybe if I'm re-watching it, you know, then... Then I don't mind grinding arena while I watch it. It, de it really depends. Okay, let's go ahead and go for a heavy. Come here, boy. Here we go. Then go, go like that. And I think we're just gonna go for the kill here. Nice. Dude, I I love Ultron. I am so on the Ultron train now. You told me in the last stream to just type monster in the next stream and see if you remember uh, the anime. Oh, dude, I. I mean, I wanted you to, to just, like, ask me, like, what was the name of the anime I told you? 
And don't put it in like a cryptic message. <laughs> that was unexpected. I thought you were calling me a monster because of because of Quake. I was confused. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh no, Lag's about to become an arena grinder addict. Nah, just milestones, dude. I need units and gold mainly. <laughs> Is that MSD? What's up, bro? Good to see you, bud. Uh, dude, Messiah's message to you, that video is hilarious, and I agree with him. You should totally just jump on the Faker account permanently. Let's go for a heavy. Okay. Cauterize. Okay. And she did. Are right. you listening to podcasts with Granny Arena? Yeah, I like po I, I like like podcasts are just a perfect example of perfect arena grinding material because it's like it's just voices. You know, like you just listen and you can focus on 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 that. It's perfect for arena. I, find. I just wish Ultron Classic was better. He looks freaking awesome, but he's just a trophy. Dude, right? I want them to introduce a six-star version that we can get in, like, maybe the next, um, like, Labyrinth of Legends or Abyss of Legends type content. Uh, if once we 100% we get a six-star and they buff him. That'd be so sick. I want that. Nice, got that big powder eyes. Wow, we're hitting like a truck. 12k mediums. I love it. Becomes more and more compelling every day. <laughs> yeah, with every opening, huh? Alright, well there's AQ taken care of. Grinch isn't fun to me. I've tried grinding, but I would rather spend my time doing something else that you can't focus. Even going for units and golds, you can't find it in me to do it. Yeah. A lot of people are like that, man. That's why spending is the alternative. And a lot of people take up the alternative. Okay. Less is excited for the incursion rework? It, what have they said about that? Because... I mean, sounds good, but is it like an actual rework? Is it a small change? Is it a big change? All right, guys, but I think that's going to do it for the stream. A little over two hours. Got pretty much the rest of the milestones, which is great. Go ahead. We'll open a Cav Nexus to cap off the night. Let's see what we got. Anything other than three stars in here? Maybe. A four star. Okay. Dude, that's good. Cosmic ISO for Gallon. If we can get that dude as a six star. Open one to Pan Crystal. I oh, mean Gallon Crystal. I'm going to be opening those on Tuesday. Or whenever Quicksilver's bundle drops. I'll be doing a big opening with all of them together. And the rest of these cab nexuses as well. Uh, but that's going to do it for the stream, guys. Is there anyone else streaming right now to raid? Let's see. Uh, filter live. Mm, no, not really. Well, I really know. Well, good night and best of luck for Quicksilver. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks for everyone for hanging out. It was a fun little arena stream. You guys kept me busy. Uh, don't see anyone. Yeah, I guess not. It's all good. Uh, big shout out to Lenny, though. Uh, Fear and Loathing uh, and Ryan for all sending over five bucks. We had a triple-headed mythical list. Thank you, guys. Love you all. More videos coming soon. Peace out.